what is up welcome here in my another video and today i'm going to show you the best side exercises for back development the best main exercise for back development is for sure deadlift but who knows what are the side ones right therefore i'm going to show the side ones and the best ones you can possibly found except the deadlift enjoy that and my friends don't forget to subscribe i'm doing this for you and i need some feedback so i can stay motivated and i can stay hard working for you guys enjoy the video because this is a good one So let's start with deadlift. I have shown it several times already, so I'm not going to talk about it that much. But it is a basis for every back session. I personally wouldn't train it with legs, but whatever suits you. Anyways, you shouldn't miss it ever. Let's quickly remind the form. Chest up, head up, the bar in the middle of your feet, fill the gap with your chin and then bend through your hips and lift it up. Never round bottom back and never use your biceps. For more information check out my video about that. I personally do 5 sets of 3 reps and 5 sets of 5 reps sessions because I want to get stronger but it depends on your goal. Let me explain that. In the first week I do 5 sets of 3 reps with 150 kilos. And in the second training I do 5 sets and 5 reps with 140 kilos. And next week in the week B I do in the first training 5 sets with 3 reps of 152.5 kilos. Because I added a little bit of kilos on there so I am progressively overloading. And in the second training I still do. 5 sets with 5 reps with 140 kilos. So I don't overload myself too much. I'm getting slowly stronger and stronger. And this is how it works. This is my deadlift. Another exercise, in my opinion, second most important are barbell rows. Not only you use your upper back, but you also use your lower back, which is great finisher for deadlift. Hold the bar over or under, bend over through your hips as much as you can and pull it. You should be copying your legs, never round your back and pull it only to the level when your hands are next to your body. I personally do 3 sets of 8. Rest of the back exercises I do for growth. Therefore I do 8 reps. And 3 sets I do because I am really tired after the lifting. Those two exercises are really heavy for your back, so you will be tired pretty much. So because of that I do 3 sets and a reps. And this is my bar bros, second most important exercise for your back development in my opinion. I had to even change my shirt how hard the deadlift was, so I hope you don't mind. So let's continue with this awesome video. Another key exercise for back development is sled pull. I usually start with this one since it warms me up, but it definitely depends how it suits you. I don't wear myself out when I start with this one, so I can do heavy deadlifts after. The key with this one is to pull the bar until you have your triceps next to your back. That's where it has its peak squeeze. You don't need to go even further. Try to slow down the negative phase and do it with proper form of your segments. Head up, chest up, lock your shoulder blades and don't use your lower back for the first movement. Use only your back and hands. If you want to minimize usage of your biceps, don't put thumbs under the bar. Put them over. Try to have as wide a grip as possible. I head for the growth, so I do 4 sets of 10. As always, I'm constantly, progressively overloading my back. So I'm adding from week to week. If I feel strong today, I'm adding a little bit of weight. So I'm making it harder and harder and I'm growing and I'm getting stronger. And that's what we all want. Another one is dumbbell pulls. I love this one. 
The key for the movement is not to bring your hand up, but to create a curve with your hand and just like that bring it up. Don't bring it just straight up, bring it with a little bit of curve so you use the back properly. So let's see it on the movement. That's how you focus on your back. Never, never around your back doing this and slightly rotate it when you are down. You will feel it even more doing that. Stop once again when your hand is next to your back. That's when it's on its peak. Once again. I aim for the bigger upper back. So I do 4 sets of 10. And I'm making it heavier from week to week. I usually feel comfortably on this one. So I'm usually adding. For example, last week I had 27.5 kilos. Right now I was doing 28 kilos, so I added 0.5 kilos on that one, which is not that much, but it counts, right? Stay overloading, my friends, it counts, every gram counts. Last one are classic rows while sitting, this one is for the additional pump. Try not using the lower back by not bending and just do the movement with your hands, that's all it needs. Once again keep your chest up, head up, shoulder blades in a great position. If you don't know how to do that, check out my video in which I told you how to have a segments in a neutral position. Bring your hands to your body, then stretch it fully and once again, don't round your lower back, never. Usually I do this for quick pump, so I do 3 sets of 12 with lower weight because I'm devastated by now. We are on the end and those exercises were the best ones you can possibly find on your back development. If you liked that video, don't forget to subscribe.